And it's all about my hands and the tools and the clay and the water, I suppose, and the minerals. That's basically what my work's about. So I begin by looking at um, some of the test tiles that I've got. So there's many strings of these, of these tests. And I'll decide on what I'm going to make by looking, looking at the tests. And then what I do, this is three litres of clay, so I'd end up um, mixing up the oxides, weighing them, and then mortar and, pesting, mortar and pestling them in here, um, putting them through a fine sieve and adding the colour to the, to the, the, um, the clay. I'd mix that with my hands, then I'd take the clay and I'd put it on a plaster, um, a plaster slab so that it dries it out. The Loewe Croft Rise piece itself had a very particular speckle which was um, made using clay that's uh, about 30 years old. I mixed it up 30 years ago. So it's, uh, that shows the speckle and these were formed in the bag. They were formed over time. Um, when it's fired, there's no change in the actual, you know, the, the speckles don't continue to happen. Someone asked me if it continues to change over years. When the pot's fired, that's it. It's actually um, stable, which is great. But during the time, over the last 30 years, this had actually changed. There's a halo caused by the movement of the oxides. And it's almost, uh, the only way to describe it is reversed in the inside so that, because I'm bringing the clay up on the outside using these wooden or bamboo tools, uh, I bring the color up and then in the inside, I work with my thumb downwards. So I'm moving the color in different directions, which is why you get the different halos. In this piece, again, it's a similar Similar mix, but it's it's showing again the different the differences that happen. So you get this, and this is a sort of flash which is caused in the firing. So these these red pieces, which um, they, they've got a different weight and a very different ring. So um, it's, it's quite low, whereas. With these, you get the, the stoneware hive. So these, um, you can tell a cracked piece if it doesn't ring, but these are not cracked. Um, but it's, the, it's just the, the sound of, of different, different works um, because of the shape, so that that's quite like a bell, I suppose. So, so this is different because it's more enclosed, but, and the thinness of the pot. Also, yeah, sometimes they, carry on. I, I sneezed one day and, and the studio was like, it was um, reverberating, yeah. In a way, all these spots are accidents because they're something that's happened over time and I didn't place the particular dots, speckles in that place. So that's the, the clay's doing that and the kiln, but I knew it was going to come out speckled in some way, but not in that particular particular way. I, I spend lo a lot longer on each piece, so I'm going over and over and over the whole time. But I think, and I hope that in the end, the energy that I actually put into the piece is going to, is going to come out of the piece um, through the sort of going over and over and over, that it, it somehow holds that energy so that it will make a, uh, in inverted commas, a better piece in the end, yeah.